<laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome to your. Uh, do you like my hello? <laughs> So when the customers actually come into the store and see kind of the displays, what's one thing they're saying about it? Overall, they're really pleased. The holidays are upon us. Of course, that means lots of holiday joys, but also maybe on the other flip side of the coin, a little bit of holiday stress. It's the event we've been waiting for. What is the one thing that you're looking forward to most this spring? Let's just say things can go <laughs> unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Park Tavern is giving us a cold weather counterpart to that spring summer fun we oh so adore. Do you have to pinch yourself sometimes? Sometimes I do. I went to Barnes and Nobles yesterday and had a little moment. I don't know. Do you think the hat's a little too much? Would Oprah wear a hat? <clears throat> we wanted to encourage this practice, encourage you to sit down and think about the things that you're grateful for this holiday season. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay. Shoulder down. And then neck. Am I doing it? But lips too. Good enough. It's, it's not easy being that It's not really. How long is too long to wait before the holidays to break up with somebody? Only 12% of people who set goals actually achieve them. And Chris, he's a life coach. He's here to tell us the one thing that we need to know to kind of improve our chances of success. You're saying that we've learned how to interpret things. We've learned how to approach people, situations, the world. And it's through a filter almost. Uh, Kyle Collins. Mm -hmm. Variation of the Tom Collins. Let's try it. It's kind of like Cow Collins, it's <laughs> definitely not for the faint of heart. <laughs> and Jennifer Hume says, this friendship can be saved. You get a brownie, and you get a brownie, and you get a brownie, and you get a brownie! Now, if an item pulls at your heartstrings, Brooks Palmer says the one thing we need to remember is this. It's really a celebration of the real one thing, the big one thing in our lives that really make our lives worthwhile. The people in it. Take Atlanta, throw in some models, some bright lights, and this big city transforms from Hotlanta to Oatlanta. Of course, it's for Oatlanta Fashion Week, a five-day event. It's a fashion frenzy right here in Atlanta to showcase independent and emerging designers. I saw Paris, I saw, I saw, you know. Tour, darling. Couture, you know. For the second night of shows, the designers took us to an imaginary place called Urbana for the urban chic designs. If you had to describe urban chic in one word, what would you use? See, oh. you, you, what you didn't say was sexy. I'm thinking it's gonna be a little sexy. What do you think? More so sexy than uh, the other night. Sexy. How important do you think this kind of event is for the city of Atlanta? I think this event is very important for Atlanta. I think you're about to tell us that it's not necessarily destiny that's given us those right. feelings. Now, you may not love fall cleanup, but you can make the job easier with the right products and you can save more money doing it now than ever before. See the way that these slats are made with no holes? That means more privacy, they'll keep your rooms darker, and they're easier to clean. And you don't have to be a professional decorator to get the beautiful results you want. Rose from the Kitchens Department is here to tell us just how easy it is. We asked Mary Jane what her favorite work moment was and how we should be feeling at work each day. First year back here at Pima Park, what does that mean to you guys? When you're in the mood, you're like, you know, why am I not in a relationship? What do you, how do you answer that question for yourself? Um, People could say, well, those things happened then. I was a kid, right. I'm an adult now, I'm all grown right. up. There are ways to spice up your interiors. And we have brought Mr. Chris Smith here to give us some budget-friendly ways to do that. You'll find almost a dozen tax tips straight from the IRS. Melissa, what is one thing that people need to know if they're going to come to a fun party? Go get tested afterwards. 